Hello. So, in today's lecture, we will discuss uh, how to calculate the design strength of a member. So, I will go through one workout example through which we will try to see how to find out the design strength due to gross yielding of the section, due to rupture of the critical section and due to block shear. So, these three aspects will be seen in the workout example and in the workout example we will go through one angle section which uh, in which uh, one leg is connected to the gusset plate. That means, the shear leg effect will be taken into picture. So, with that we will see how to calculate the shear leg width and how to calculate the uh, effect of shear leg on design strength calculation of the due to rupture those things we will see. So, coming to the problem uh, we can see that here 2 ISA 75 by 80 uh, sorry 75 by 50 by 8 angles are connected to a gusset plate on its same side of thickness 10 mm. So, gusset plate thickness is 10 mm by 4 numbers of m 18 grade 4.6 volt. So, grade of bolt is 4.6 and diameter is 18 mm. Find the design tensile strength of the angle if gusset is connected to the longer leg and if gusset is connected to the shorter leg. So, the arrangement is shown here. In fact, this arrangement we will see means we will find out the edge distance and pitch distance uh, from the calculation. Uh, because of the presence of 18 mm diameter bolt, but the thing is that uh, here the connection is done in like this that longer legs are connected, uh, uh, that longer legs connected with 75 mm leg has been connected. So, if we see the picture, this is the gusset plate which are connected to um, two angle section with longer leg connected the first case and second case the if shorter leg is connected. So, for both the cases we will see and it is connected here. So, first we will calculate the strength due to yielding of gross section. So, T d g strength due to yielding of gross section. So, T d g we can find out F y A g by gamma m 0. So, F y will be 250 and A g the gross area of I s a 75 by 50 by 8 is 938 and 2 um, angles are there. So, into 2 by gamma m 0 that is 1.1. So, if we calculate we can find out 426.36 kilo Newton right. So, strength due to yielding of grass sections we can find out T d g as this. Then we will go to calculation of the strength due to rupture of the critical section. So, as diameter is 18, so hole diameter will be d h diameter of hole will become 18 plus 2 that is 20 mm and we can assume pitch distance as say 2.5 d that is 50 mm and edge distance E as 1.5 d that is 30 mm. So, you can use this. Okay. So, using this uh, the detail will be like this that is pitch distance will be 50 and edge will be 30 and this distance is 75 because longer leg is connected 
right? Now, we have to calculate the value of A n c A g o. So, A n c the area net area of the connected leg that will be 75 minus 8 by 2 minus 20. This is hole diameter into thickness. If you consider that will be 408 millimeter square. Similarly, area of the outstanding gross area of the outstanding leg AGO that will be 50 was the leg length minus T by 2 into T. So, that is coming 368 millimeter square. So, A n the net area of the angle section will become A n C plus A G O. So, if we add these two we will get 776 millimeter square. Now, I have to calculate beta value. Beta value will be we know 1.4 minus 0 0.076 by uh, 0 0.076 into B s by L c W by T into F y by F u. So, if I put this value then I can get this as now B s. B s will be if this is connected like this it is connected. So, B s will be this plus this right. So, that will be 50 plus this is 40 this is 40 and minus 8 thickness B s by L 3. L 3 will be if we see the bolts are uh, 4 bolts are there with a pitch of 50, 50 mm pitch. So, L c distance will be 50 into 3. So, this will be 50 into 3 into w, w is the outstanding length that is 50 by thickness is 8 into f y by f u. So, after calculation we can find out the beta value as 1.242 right beta value as 1.242. Now, it has to satisfy between 0.7 and f y by f y by f u by f y into gamma m 0 by gamma m 1 that is f u by gamma m 0 by f y by f y gamma m 1 this value are coming as this 1.443. That, that means, beta has to be uh, less than or equal to 1.443 and greater than 0 0.7 and our calculated beta has 1.242. So, it is uh, for, uh, means it is under this condition. So, beta value we can consider as 1.242. So, now I can find out the T d n value. T d n we know 0.9 f u a n c by gamma m 1 plus beta f y a g o by gamma m 0. So, if I put this value we can get 0 0.9 into 410 into a n c was 408 by 1.25 plus beta value we have calculated as 1.242 into f y into a 0 is 368 by 1.1. So, this value this is coming as 
224.31 kilonewton, right. So, this is the uh, strength due to rupture of one angle. So, for both the angle strength due to rupture for both the angle it will be 2 into 224.31. So, 448.62 kilonewton. So, strength due to rupture T d n is this and alternatively we can find out also T d n as just to check how much deviation is coming from the earlier calculation that is alpha a n f u by gamma m 1 into 2 right. So, if I consider alpha as because this is 4 number of volts. So, this will be 0, 0 0.8 a n we have calculated 776 a few is 410 by 1.25 into 2. So, this is coming 407 kilonewton. So, approximately also we can calculate T d n as 407 kilonewton. Now, we have to calculate T d b the block shear strength due to block shear. So, for that we have to calculate first a b g, a b g will be thickness 3 into 50 plus 30 and thickness was 8 because if we see a b g value uh, so, this is 30, then 50, 50 and 50, 4 number of volts are there. So, this is 30, 50, 50, 50. So, I can find out the area, area will be 8 into 3 into 50 plus 30. So, this will become 1440 millimeter square. Similarly, A V n the net area we can find out this is the gr gross area net area will be 8 into 3 into 50 plus 30 minus 3.5 into 20 because here we will find out from here to this right. So, uh, 3 hole will be directed and half of this hole will be directed. So, it will be 3.5 not 4. So, if we calculate this we can find out A v n value as 880 millimeter square right. So, the shear area area due to shear the gross area and the net area we could find out. Then A T G due to tension failure, we can calculate A T G will be 8 into 35. This is because if we see the angle, this is connected and this longer length is connected whose length is 75 mm. So, the gauge distance is this is this is 40. So, this will be 35. So, the A V G value will be 35 into 8. So, I can find out 280 and A T n will be 8 into 35 minus 0.5 into 20 because in this direction this will be the net area. So, 50 percent of the whole area will come into uh, this. So, I can consider the net area as as 200 millimeter square right. So, now I can find out the T d b 1 value which is calculated from this formula that is 0.9 a v n a few by 
root 3 gamma m 1 plus f y a t g by gamma m 0. So, if I put the value of the parameters, then I can find out the T d b 1 value. Here a t g value is 280 and gamma m 0 is 1.1. .1. So, this value is coming 213.62 kilo newton, right 213.62 kilo newton. Now, so t d b 1 will become for, for two members at is as two members are connected. So, t d b 1 will be 2 into 213.62. So, 427.24 kilometer. Right. Again, I can find out T d b 2. T d b 2 will be F e g F y by root 3 gamma m 0 plus 0.9 F u A t n by gamma m 1. So, if I put the value of A v g as 1440 into 250 by root 3 gamma m 0 is 1.1 1 .1 plus 0.9 into 410 into 18 is 200 by 1.25. So, this is coming 248 kN that means the block shear T d b 2 for 2 angle it will be 248 into 2 496 kilometer. So, the T d b the strength due to block shear failure will be minimum of T d b 1 and T d b 2 that is coming 427.24 kilo newton. Minimum of T d b 1 and T d b 2 will be the T d b value. Now, T d the design strength of the member T d will be minimum of T d g, T d n and T d b. So, if we see those values are minimum of 426.36, 448.6 and 427.24. That means, 426.36 point 36 will be the design strength of the member right so this is how we can calculate the design strength of a member when the member is connected with a gasser angle member right now we will see the another one if the shuttle leg is connected with the gasset plate. Here we have calculated the uh, strength of the connection where the longer length is connected. Now, we can see what happens in case of shuttle length. This one thing, another thing we will see which one is efficient that means, which one is stronger whether shuttle length if we consider means if we connect or longer length we can connect that also we will see. So, in this case the connections will be like this that is this is 75 and this is 50 right and this is connected with the bolt. Now, in this case means um, here gusset plate is connected to shorter leg 
right. So, here T d g will be same because a g in any case it is same. So, this will be 426.36 kilo Newton T d g will be same, but when we are going to calculate the T d n value the um, design strength due to rupture there the difference will come because there a n c will be different here a n c will be 50 minus 20 minus 8 by 2 into 8 unlike earlier case the value of a n c will be changed a g o also will be 75 minus 8 by 2. So, this is coming 208, this is coming 568 millimeter square. Similarly, I can find out a n value the net area that is becoming different with the earlier one, here it is coming 776 millimeter square, right. So, a n value we have calculated. A n c value we know, a g o value we know, now we can find out the T d n value provided the beta is known. So, in this case beta we can calculate as 1.5 into minus 0 0.076 into B s by L c, B s means here it will be 75 this outstanding length plus 25 minus 8 and L c is 3 into 50 and W by T outstanding length by T into F y by F u. So, calculating this we can get 1.133 and this value is greater than 0.7 and less than 1.443 which was calculated earlier. So, beta we can consider as 1.133 right. Now, we can find out the T d n value. So, T d n value we can find out 0.9 f u a n c, a n c is 200 a in this case by gamma m 1 plus beta, beta is 1.133 into f y is 250 into a g o, a g o is 568 in this case uh, by gamma m 0 that is 1.1. So, uh, this value is coming into 2 if I make then the total strength of the 2 angles this will be 415.32 kilo Newton right. So, T d n value we can calculate. Now, alternatively also we can calculate T d n value from that formula 2 into alpha into a n into f u by gamma m 1. So, if I put this value for 4 number of bolt it will alpha will be 0.8, a n is 776, a p u is 410 by gamma m 1. So, this value will be 407 kilo Newton right. Now, so T d n value we can calculate now block shear T d b we will calculate. For calculation of T d b, we have to calculate the average um, sorry the area a v g a v n is gross area due to shear and net area similarly due to tensile a t g and a t n gross and net. So, this four area we have to calculate. So, if we calculate a v g that will be 3 into 50 plus 30 into 8 because uh, this we have shown that 4 bolts are there 
I have shown earlier. So, this will be 3 into 50 plus 30 is the edge distance. So, if we do that, we can find out the value as a v g as 1 4 4 0. Similarly, a v n will be 3 into 50 plus 30 minus 3.5 into 20 into 8 this will be 880. As I told when we are going to consider a v n, a v n means uh, from this we are going to consider the length. So, 3 holes will be deducted and 1 hole 50 percent of that will be deducted. So, a v n we can calculate. Similarly, a t g we can calculate this will be 18 to 25 because if we see the connections this is 25 and this is so 18 to 25 that will be this is also 25 sorry because this total is 15. If we consider this then this will be 200. Similarly, a t n will be 25 minus 0 0.5 into 20 into 8 this will be 120 millimeter square. So, a v g a v n a t g a t n we can find. Now, we can find out the t d b 1 and t d b 2. So, t d b 1 will be 0.9 a v n a few by root 3 gamma m 1 plus f y a t g by gamma m 0. So, if I put this value a v n value is 880 by root 3 into 1.25 a t g value is 200. So, after calculation we can get 195.43 kilo Newton. That means, T d b 1 of 2 angle section it will be 2 into 195.43 that will be 390.86 kilo Newton. Similarly, I can find out T d b 2 value T d b 2 value will be this earlier formula a v g f y by root 3 gamma m 0 plus 0 0.9 a f u a t n by gamma m 1. So, if I put the value a v g as 1 4 4 0 and a t n as 120 then I can find out the value as 224.37 kilo Newton. So, T d b 2 value will become 2 into 224.37 because 2 number of angles are there. So, we can find out the value as 448.74. So, T d b value will be lesser of T d b 1 and T d b 2 that is becoming 390.86 kilo Newton. Right. So, the T d value the design strength will be lesser of this 3 that is 426.36, 415.32 and 390.86. Right. So, that means, it will be 390.86 kilo Newton. 
So, the design strength of the member when the shorter leg is connected to the uh, gusset plate, then the design strength of the member will become 390.86. Now, if we compare uh, that in case of first one, the value is coming 426.36 kilo Newton and in case of second one value is coming 390.86 kilo Newton right. Here longer length is connected and here shorter length is connected and what we see here that if longer length is connected then the strength is more strength of the joint is more or the section is more right. So, whenever we are using unequal section we will try to join the longer length with the gusset plate to get the strength more with same material right. So, this is how we can calculate the design strength of a member which is subject to axial tension and the three criteria will follow and the list of these three will be the design strength of the member. Thank you.